Hi guys! So I thought I would once again show you guys my Coco Daisy and obviously this is not all Coco Daisy but I, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I got and how I'm going to use everything for October. So October is one of my favorite months in my planner because I love the rich browns and oranges and the woodsy vibes. Um, I love fall in general. So I'm going to show you guys what I have everything here and then I will come back after showing you everything to show you guys what how I use everything, right? Um, I did cut my thumb pretty badly, so you'll notice I have a bandage on there, but yeah, <laughs> that's, I'll talk about that. So the first thing I'll show you guys is my insert. So this is an MD B6 Slim notebook. Um, it has MD right here. And I went ahead and labeled my notebook with a number that this, these number stickers come with the pack of notebooks. And I just wrote down what month I'm gonna use this for. And as you can tell, it has some sticky notes inside, like post-its, and it's just, this is how I remember what I want on every page. Uh, next, I will show you guys what I have in this bag. So, as you can tell, this is not all Coco Daisy things. I already unboxed my October Coco Daisy kit, and a lot of the things that came in the Coco Daisy kit this month, um, I believe it's called something flannel. Let's see. So, it's called flannel and frost. A lot of the colors in this kit, I have things that match in my stash already. And one of my goals this month, or this year, is to kind of use up my stash because I, I have a huge stash. There's really nothing else for that reason. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out everything that comes with the kit to show you guys what the kit itself comes with. And then I will, and I will briefly go through what else is in the bag. So this month, it comes with this color scheme. And... I get the planner kit with the tip in um, cards. So uh, I'm going to go through the main kit first because that is what I think most people are interested in. So it comes with three different papers. And the papers are double-sided. So here is side one. And then flip it over. This is side two. So the papers... Uh, they come folded in half naturally so that if you're using a traveler's notebook you should be able to easily slip your notebook in and then close it and then you can decorate however you want it does cover a five notebooks as well it comes with some stickers so stickers and then the washi tape which this month it is foiled it's a beautiful foiling some post-its that are in the shape of a leaf a notepad which comes very with a generous amount of notepad pages now these are some puffy stickers I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use the puffy stickers but they're very cute and I'm sure I can figure out a use for them it comes with a little clip this is an embroidered clip on the inside and it comes on a gold paper clip it comes with some die cuts in which I can go ahead and show you guys what the die cuts are and the die cuts include actual actual die cuts and then um some tabs and these are adhesive backed i believe yep they have adhesive on the back and they're all matching which is really great about getting a subscription kit is that all the materials that come in the kit match each other i mean that's the point of getting a kit right so it has a tab some of them have phrases on them which uh ha did not happen in the last few months so that's going to be something interesting to incorporate And so I I really use all of the die cut die cuts in the tabs throughout the month, and then it came with another additional card. And on the back, it looks like it has a border that I assume that you can put a sticky note on. And then it comes with some tabs or tags that have nothing on them, but I'm probably going to use them as an outline. And it comes with some um, string as well in the bag. And so that is the main kit. And then for the tipping cards it comes in two different the tipping cards come in different two different sizes and this monthly card always comes in every single kit and then it also comes with an informational card in which this month is called flannel and frost and then it has just a description of why that was decided on so each of these cards are double-sided and they all have some sort of pattern and then usually on the back it'll have either lines or doc grid or blank that you can write something into. Some of them even have prompts. So this is four by six. 
And then these, these are much smaller. <laughs> and they're all very cute, very well made. I, I've written on these cards in fountain pen and they don't bleed through, which is really something I'm, I look for because I like to write in fountain pen. But yeah, these are the tipping cards. All very like matchy matchy. And then there's always a monthly card that's included in which one side starts on Monday and one side starts on Sunday. So that is what comes in the October kit itself. In which let me just put this aside. So everything else that's in this bag, I pulled from my stash. And I have a huge stash of uh, like autumnal things because like I said before, it's my favorite season. So I, ha I pick out a lot of different washi tapes that all will coordinate with this kit. And then I also have some extras that I've had from previous Coco Daisy kits. So this one I believe is from September or November from last year. And then some die cuts that I didn't finish off from, I believe, March. These are the freebie that you can get as a subscriber in which I printed it off, but I never finished using it. So that these are from November of last year. And then some stamps that I thought would be pretty nice to add. Ah, and I also forgot the Coco Daisy pen. The pen comes with the main kit. The pen this time, it looks like this. It's very cute, gold, and it has the signature daisy on top. So that is all the Coco Daisy items. And then I also pulled out some additional things that I, I might use and I might not use. So I pulled out this paper pad that I have in my stash, the Woodland and Wings. And it doesn't actually have the matching colors from the Coco Daisy kit. However, it is very autumnal and I'm sure I can maybe pull in some of these like the mushrooms. I love this paper. And so yeah, I thought I might add in that. And then because of Halloween, I pulled out my Halloween kit. I believe this is called um, Mischief Manor. And I might not use this in my actual setup, but I'll probably print out some cards out of this so that I can um, tip in what I do for Halloween this year. And then the rest of it is kind of stickers. So I went through my stash and I pulled out all of the autumnal stickers that I, I wouldn't use otherwise throughout the rest of the year. And I will show you guys how I use this later on. So yeah, just some abdominal stickers that will match. So that is my kit. And I will be back to show you guys how everything is in use. So see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. You might notice a lighting change. I'm not, I mean, it's been a while. So I filmed my unboxing around two o'clock in the afternoon and now it's around 4.30. So that tells you how much time it takes for me to set up a monthly. It, I'm a very slow crafter though too, so take that with a grain of salt. So I've set up my folder and my insert, and I will go first through my insert to show you guys what I've used, and then my folder, and then I'll show you what is left over from my kit. So again, this is my daily insert. This was, or this is an MD, notebook in the b6 slim size it was it's one of the staple bound ones not the perfect bound and i've covered it with the paper i've used some of the die cuts i've this is layered i used some of the puffy stickers uh, on the back more layering of the die cuts and then more puffy stickers and some stickers so i set up my daily insert the same way every month so if you if you've been on my instagram or been watching my other videos this is not going to be very different in the front i put this tipping card and I put some sticky notes on the back. I thought it was very appropriate. Here I put in my October goals. I will still have to write out what these goals are so I'm keeping my little notes there and then I also made an autumn bucket list because I got the sticker for it from one of the labels so I might as well make an autumn bucket list on my goals page in which I'll write that down. Flip. This will be my social media perpetual calendar. I go from the 1st to the 31st. I put in challenges and then I put in the weekend stickers on the weekends matching my perpetual calendar so that I can recognize that, oh, Monday I always put up a flip of my last week. So it just helps me keep track. And it also prevents me from wasting time because if I if I know it's the third and then I go on to the third, I'm not gonna know based on my perpetual calendar if that is a Monday or a Friday. So I just put in this weekend stickers to speed that process up. And then I have my notes page that have my monthly to-do list, a shopping list, for here, I thought I would put down my self-care list since I like to put in a self-care uh, list for every month that changes per season. And then for this one, I decided to put in 
my uh, online orders tracker. This is my tracker in which I go 1 to 31. I'll put down my habits. Here I'll put down whenever I get headaches because I can get really bad headaches. So I like to put down what day, why possibly, and how severe it is, and if I took in medication for it. This is my month at a glance. Uh, so I've had the date stickers for, I feel like, years. They're from an old Happy Scrappy kit that I've just ported, so I thought I might as well go ahead and use them because they're nice and fall colors. I put the stars for any holidays, and I put these little teardrops for bills. And so I messed up. So I was, I was writing in the dates, and then I skipped Wednesday. So I put in Wednesday here, and then I realized that I messed up, so I decided to put washi. You mess up. It's, it's okay. It's whatever. So, and then I have my one tab, which is to my dailies in which I put in the monthly that I use as a bookmark. So I like to bookmark my dates so that when I'm flipping to my daily insert, it's automatically to the date that I'm on. I put in the hearts for the holidays and then the teardrops on the back for the bills. And then I already went ahead and put in the dates. So the 28th, 29th, and 30th, there are different colors because these came from my September kit. So October comes with 31 days, and I was able to fit five weeks in here, which means I needed to use the 3rd, 28th, 29th, and 30th for October. So I went ahead and just pulled the September ones and used them to fill up those pages. I went ahead and put in my trash days, since those are every Thursday. And so that goes all the way through. Ah, something to note. So Coco Daisy has their holidays on the sheet, and they usually come in a sticker as the such. So the Canadian Thanksgiving is on the 12th. And then on the bottom here, if you can focus, they'll put the dates of those holidays. Strangely enough, Columbus Day was not included in the sticker, but I mean, you have limited amount of space, so I'm not gonna be mad about it. Instead, I just used one of the plain labels that you can put on your tabs, and I just wrote in Columbus Day. So yeah, that is all of it. And then on the back, I have my next month, and then I have my October tipping card for October favorites, and then for October notes. Back here, I made like a makeshift little uh, slip pocket so that I can slip in no pet paper, and I use that with some extra paper and then the washi tape. This is the back of my cover. So that is my daily insert. And then for my folder, I use more of the paper, more of the die cuts, the rest of the puffy stickers. And it's the same on the back, that I cut puffy stickers. And then I made the same type of folder. So it's a flat folder in which I've used the papers, some of the washi, and then I just glued it onto the back. And I will show you at the very end of this video if you're interested on how I make this folder, because somebody requested it. So I thought I would go ahead and show that to you guys. So what is left from the kit? So I've used pretty much everything, and that's expected. So I have one die cut slash label left, in which it's, I went ahead and put on October 2020. This is what I put into my hardbound journal to mark off the months. So I will use this by the time October comes. For the stickers, I have some of the stickers left, which is to be expected. So I've used all of the dates and most of the actual day stickers. I've used most of the arrows in the weekend. I have one teardrop sticker left. I have two heart stickers, a birthday and today plan. And then this Coco Daisy is actually a sticker. I have some of the circles and then meal plan, clean, groceries, and then celebrate. And then these blank labels. I will use the rest of this sheet up throughout the month. So I meal plan weekly. I don't plan when I meal plan. So I will use that sticker when it happens. Um, I don't have any October birthdays, but I will probably put on these heart stickers for date nights. And I'll probably use the same thing for this teardrop in these circles. So this sheet will be used throughout the month. These are the rest of the label stickers. So I have one blank lab label left and then meal plan. I'll probably use this as a meal plan sticker some month because October has five weeks. So, and this only comes with four meal plan stickers. So I'll probably use this as supplement. And then for this sticker sheet, I have some more labels, some icons, some hearts. These are whole reinforcers and then two coffee stickers. I will use these throughout the month. And I'll probably use these reinforced whole stickers to make some tabs or some labels in which I will tell you about that a little bit soon. So I've used some of the notepad paper, still have a bunch left. I've used some of the sticky notes in which I still have a bunch left. I have used some of the tipping cards, but not all. I have the monthly, 
and then I have three of the four by six, and then I have a bunch of these smaller ones. I use these throughout the month to write down, like if I've got a phone call, I'll write my notes on one of these sipping cards. If I feel anxious one day, and I don't want to write about it in my journal, but I want to mark why I was anxious, I'll put that on a tipping card and then tip that into my daily insert. So these will be used throughout the month. The pen and three refills will be used. I've used all of the peppy stickers, and so I'll probably, well actually I will, I'll keep this to make tabs out of or something for the future. And I've also used all of the die cuts, save that one tab, so I will do the same with this. I will keep the back card and use it for decoration of some sort. And talking about the tabs, I do still have these two tabs and then the string. And what I'll probably do is I'll use these backing cards and I'll make tabs out of them to, for Thanksgiving, for nameplates and things like that. I have not used this um, paper clip. I don't, I don't really use decorative paper clips because I find them kind of annoying to take in and out. But they are cute and I'm sure I'll figure out a way to use it. I'll, I might even put it in like one of my pen pal cards or something. So the paper, what is left of the paper is these three pieces. So mind you, I use a lot of the paper in my insert and then I use some of it to make my little makeshift pocket here. And then all of this is paper, the outside cover and as well as the folders. So I use a lot of the paper. I will probably use these as borders at some point. And then for this sheet, I plan on using it as like to make more tabs out of, or I might even cut it up into a tipping card size to make more tipping cards for the month. That would all depend on how many um, cards I use throughout. And then for the washi, of course, I still have plenty of washi left. So I think that the Coco Daisy kits, depending on how you use them, can be worth it if you use it properly. I'm not going to tell people to buy it or to subscribe because I'm, I don't know how you plan and I don't know how you use your supplies. So if you think it's worth it, I would suggest maybe trying it for one month and only get what you think you're going to use. So this is what I'm showing you in front of you and what I've used is the planner main kit with the tip-in add-on. If you are first time user of Coco Daisy, I would suggest getting the planner main kit without the tip-in cards because the tip-in cards, you can easily make cards to tip in through the backing card of things that come with like the die cuts, um, extra paper that you use. You might not use all the, as much paper as I do, so you can cut them up and use them as tipping cards. So that's what I would suggest. Of course, that is all your decision. And yeah, that's, that's what you decide. Now for my folder, somebody did ask me previously to show how I make my folder. So the Coco Daisy comes with three double-sided pieces of paper, as I've shown previously. I use almost every single piece of those papers. And how I make this folder is, you're gonna cut out a backing piece of paper to cut, fit your size. So this is B6 slim. So when you fold it in half, it should be B6 slim. I would suggest making it slightly bigger and slightly wider, maybe about a quarter of an inch on both sides. Because when you put in your folder and then you put things into your folder, your folder is gonna bulk up. So if you make it too slim, the backing card, it's not gonna fold properly and it's not gonna keep closed. Does that make sense? <laughs> now for the folder itself, I use a template. I, I'm lazy, so I use a template and I use this template. So let me show the backside. So when you fold the template, you fold the front up and then you'll fold the sides. You don't need a template at all. You can make your envelope as big or as small or whatever size you want. So that is the folder in which this then is the flap. How I would suggest you make your template is you're going to take whatever size, so mine is B6 slim, right? You're going to make your center square or rectangle the size of your, your insert. So mine is B6 slim again. I would make it slightly shorter and slightly skinnier because you, again, you want this to fit in your, in this backing card easily. From that point, you just make flaps on both sides and then you're just gonna fold it as such, right? These flaps don't need to be very large. They can be like half an inch. They can even be an inch, they can be half an inch. It doesn't really matter because when you fold it up, the, these side pieces are only created to be able to tape or to glue this part down. So what's really important is this and this. When you make your bottom flap, 
you're going to want it to cover at least half of your insert because you want your your covering right to be able to fold over so if this if this flap is too short your folder is not going to be able to fold properly that is what i would suggest and then from there you just make make another rectangle to be able to cover from here and then just add on a triangle <laughs> that's it that's my folder i made two of these so one of them is on this side one of them is on this side this folder is made all from one piece of paper one of those decorative pieces of paper from coco daisy this folder is made from washi taping i don't know if i can show you guys from down here so see this is from three different scraps of paper so this piece of paper is a scrap from here this paper is a scrap from this and then this little flap right here, which is barely holding on, is a scrap from this backing sheet. So that's the reason why I'm able to use up so much of the paper from Coco Daisy is because I use literally every single scrap possible. But yeah, that is how I would make the folder. It's kind of a trial and error. If you are lazy, there are plenty of Etsy shops in which you can buy the templates from. That's actually how I started was I got a template from Etsy. And I'll try to find them and link them down below. And from there, I made slight adjustments on what I would like. They, they show, they do everything. They get, they gave me my backing card and all the, all different types of pockets as well. But again, you have to kind of adjust it to how you like to make your stuff. So that is my October. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.